Electric vehicles have three different levels of charging. If you're confused by that statement or simply want more information, then today's video is for you. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and thank you for watching. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate the difference between level one, level two, and level three chargers using water. And no, the irony of demonstrating electric flow using the very thing you avoid electricity with is not lost on me. When I bought my first electric car, a 2015 Nissan Leaf, one of the common assumptions people made was that I installed a special charger in my home to charge it with. This conversation continued when talking to various people and so it occurs to me that perhaps the type of charging electric vehicles use is not common knowledge. So let's break it down. First off, there are a variety of different connectors that an electric vehicle can come with. That is not the topic of today's video, but I may cover one in the future, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. There are three different charging levels, often referred to simply as level one, level two, and level three. Level one, also referred to as trickle charging or slow charging, is the slowest form of charge and is done with your typical home outlet. In North America, this is a standard 110 volt plug. Level two charging is what people assume has been installed. This is the gold standard in home charging and extremely common in public places. For installation at home, you require the purchase of special charging equipment and in most cases, a professional electrician to wire it properly for the extra voltage. Level three charging is also known as supercharging or fast charging. This is the fastest available charging that your car can accept and typically only available at public charging stations. Note, between all three levels, the technical aspects of each will vary. With my demonstration today, I'm simply going to show you the differences in the time required to charge your car. So let's go over the pieces of my demonstration. This blue bucket of water signifies the utility company or an endless supply of electricity, if you will. These milk jugs are your car battery and these two hoses represent level one and level two charging. They're the same length, but the level one hose is a quarter inch inside diameter where the level two hose is a half inch inside diameter. I'm gonna siphon the water so the gravity is used as a constant rate of pressure. Now, as you can see, the level two charger has filled the battery much quicker. This doesn't mean that it's required as the level one charger will eventually fill your battery. It's just gonna take a lot longer. For the level three demonstration, I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm gonna use the tap to fill the jug. Level three is fast, just like a tap. However, also like a tap, it slows down the rate at which it charges the more full the battery gets. For example, as I fill this jug with the tap closer to the top, I adjust the tap to go slower so that I don't overflow. I don't just keep the same rate going the whole time, so to summarize, level one charging is the slowest, but easiest to access and requires no special equipment installed in your home. My Nissan Leaf will charge in approximately 20 hours from zero to 100% using this method. Level two requires additional equipment, but can charge my Leaf in approximately six hours. And level three will charge my Leaf from zero to 80% in about 30 minutes, and then take another 20 minutes to complete the rest of the charge. This type of charge is only available at public charging stations. I hope that helps. Hit the like button for me if it does. And if you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on electric cars. Thanks for watching and have a great day.